The Great Outdoors presents a different listening environment than your typical room. Inside your home, there are walls to reflect and contain sound. Outside, of course, it's wide open, and there are usually background noises like wind, traffic, or barking dogs. The guidelines we'll offer in this video will help you overcome some of the acoustical challenges that you'll find outside. Then, we'll talk about all the gear you'll need to create an outdoor system. First, determine what your main listening area will be. Plan on placing your speakers roughly 12 feet away from that listening area and roughly 8 to 10 feet apart from each other. For example, if you want to listen to music on your deck, you can place one speaker at either end. What if you need to cover a larger area? Think more speakers, not higher volume. Cranking up the volume could result in uncomfortably loud music in parts of your listening area. For example, if you wanted to cover your patio and pool deck, we'd recommend placing four speakers at the corners. Depending on your space, you might opt for traditional speakers, stereo input speakers, or a mix of both. To get good stereo sound with traditional speakers, alternate left and right channels. For more info on choosing speakers, see our video at crutchfield.com slash choose outdoor. We recommend placing your outdoor speakers in a protected location whenever you can, like under the eaves. Some models labeled as weather resistant require that kind of placement. If you do need to put a speaker in a fully exposed location, like on the ground by the pool, be sure it's fully weatherproof. To cover the broadest listening area you can, mount your speakers up high, above six feet, but not higher than 10 feet. This will help disperse the sound over more of your yard. And one last tip. If you want to get more bass out of your speakers, place them near a wall or corner. To create a full outdoor speaker system, there are a few things you'll need. First, you'll want enough speakers to adequately cover your listening area. Second, you'll need plenty of power to drive the speakers. You can use a separate amplifier, although most home theater receivers these days can power an extra pair of speakers in one or more additional listening zones. Third, look for speaker wire designed for outdoor use. It's labeled CL2 or CL3. This kind uses durable jackets that can stand up to the elements. For some installations, you may also need wire that's designed to be safely buried in the ground, labeled direct burial. Fourth, think about outdoor volume controls. This isn't a must-have, but it adds a lot of convenience since you won't have to run back inside to turn up your favorite song. For information on choosing speakers, watch our video at crutchfield.com slash chooseoutdoor. And to see the basic steps of outdoor speaker installation, visit crutchfield.com slash outdoor install. You can also call our AV Design Group for help planning your system at 1-800-555-9407.